recueil, donc paru en traduction française, le livre de Luard Nalek, traduit par Michel Maire, au Castor Astral, La dernière traversée de la Manche, traduit par Jean-Paul Junk et Jean Portante chez Graffiti, et HJI. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, et HJR, traduit par Eric Sarner, chez Graffiti Phi en 99. En 2004, Graffiti a publié un choix de poèmes, traduit en allemand par Nico Hellmanger, intitulé Fin, fin de siècle, Phantom Build. Pierre Joris est aussi l'auteur du volume d'essai A Nomad Poetics, de plusieurs anthologies, dont Poems for the Millennium euh, avec Jérôme Rothenberg, et de nombreuses traductions vers le français, Jack Kerouac, Carl Solomon, Gregory Corso, Julian Beck, Sam Shepard, et vers l'anglais, Maurice Blanchot, Edmond Jabès, Paul Senan, Habib Tangour, Abdel Wabad Medeb, parmi d'autres. Sa traduction du recueil Light Duress de Paul Senan a reçu le Pen Poetry Translation Award en 2005, et le CD Roots, Not Roots, euh, vient de sortir aux états unis il est en vente ici. Et il est en vente sur le présentoir. The pitch to the crowd. Merci. I prefer to read standing up, and um, this should pick up enough. Do you hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay. I'll read mainly in, mainly in English. I'll read uh, a few poems from the new volume, Al Jibar in the translation by Eric Sarner in that book, but mainly I will read in English. This afternoon, Dante will be expelled from Florence. A good thing, as how could he have written so well on the faraway imaginary exile of the comically divine realms had he not known what it meant to walk over a cold January day's ground frost, clod breaking, heart beating from one city to another to come to this. That exile is but the next step you take, the unknown there where your foot comes down next in heaven or on earth. Exile is when you can still lift a foot Exile is when you're not yet dead. <laughs> Cet après-midi, Dante sera expulsé de Florence. Une bonne chose, car comment aurait-il pu écrire si bien dans le domaine, ex, dans le lointain exil imaginaire du royaume comiquement divin, s'il avait ignoré ce que signifiait marcher sur le sol gelé d'un froid jour de janvier briser les mottes cœur battant d'une cité à l'autre pour arriver à celle-ci. L'exil n'est que ton prochain pas, l'inconnu là où ton pied tombe après. Au ciel ou sur terre, l'exil est là où tu peux encore lever un pied. L'exil est là où tu n'es pas encore mort. Round about midnight, old monk vinyls, and the scratch of that, and this old parka nib, nostalgia, in taglio, days of dice and four roses, rosa, rosé, rosas, rosarum, the relief of highly reactive, easily polymerized, typically tough, though flexible, writing nights. Autour de minuit, vieux vinyle de manque et scratch de cela et sept pointes d'un vieux parker, nostalgie, en taille, jour de D et four roses, rosa, rosé, rosas, rosarum, le soulagement de Nuit d'écriture hautement réactive, facilement polymérisée, typiquement difficile, bien qu'adaptable. And as a... 
Thank you. Uh, here's a poem that I wanted to read in Paris, given that uh, it's about it's uh, a calm that the Macomb dose was a poem for Douglas Oliver. Finally, though it starts. Last Calvados tear cried, embracing you, knowing, knowing this was the long goodbye. Tears of Calvary, no more dawn at Pont Neuf. The new bridge, now the oldest, over a river that is a scene insane. As I run, as I hold the last glass of Calva, put out now on Paris ground, sop for some imaginary big dog. And yet, Lady Lethe didn't get it all as Darkness Which Is On The Light, title of the last poem, February 10th, 2000, Snow Lying Like A Private Drift Of Death. My interest is in the form that death gives to our lives. A public heart, he was, in John Donne's phrase quoted by Denise Riley, and the master of a most demanding poetics. How shall I write this? By living it, that rule has not changed. You have children, lose yourself in them. Even now when death, our richest humor, fills with lights, the stress born in time stands outside, a minor eternal present, a trembling instant, partly resisting, the flow, the line creates it, its very great fascination, arrived at this, at that bouche d'ombre, the, des the descent beckons into memory's hollows and gulfs, metropolitan au teint. Through its rebirths of sorts, emerge elsewhere, come up for breath, even if myth your identity not safe, above or underground. The grind, the grind, I groan in dejection, poor Calvados. Poor calm that a makeum dose, poor Calvary, go with me, calamitous vagrant rhyme. We sat and smoked Cuba, sighed Africa, sighted America, vaudeville Haiti, wept the Maghreb, set the world neither a right nor a fire nor a kimbo, recrossed Pontef, had coffee and croissants at Le Petit Bar, embraced at Metro Gate. Shut up the veins of another new morning. We'll meet again just there. I mean here. <coughs> Miscellany of these years, shared assemblages that dissemble and amble what connects in the terror of any given life. From or through sleep, this den of otherness, you wake into boyhood, the hooded stranger of adultite, busied with petty chafings, declarations, declamations, <coughs> steamed and salted, the cracked lips bite, Sundays, other days, head into the blue yonder, the colder depth, a boy with branches twice his size held up antlers, a gift for you, his small carefree praise song. The little we know pushed forward by nib and ink, pebbles heaped against the abyss of the unknown, our only ground. Mélange de ces années, assemblage partagé, qui dissemble et vente à l'amble, quelle connexion dans la terreur de toute vie donnée Du sommeil où le franchissement se répère d'altérité. Tu t'éveilles en enfance, l'étranger à la capuche de l'adultité, occupé à de menus frottements, déclarations, déclamations, à la vapeur et salée, les lèvres fendues, mordes. Les dimanches, d'autres jours, la tête dans un labat tout bleu, les plus froides profondeurs. Un garçon portant des branches deux fois plus grands que lui, des bois, un présent pour toi, son insouciante 
petite chanson en ton honneur, le peu que nous sachions porter en avant par pointe de plume et encre, cailloux entassés contre l'abysse de l'inconnu, notre seul sol. Novalis revisited. Who does not love that light? Rhetorical first line of the first hymn to its opposite, night. A vague face lifting, now lifted into gray dullness of cloudy day over Albany, New York. Here we live inside weather, day or night. Shutter clicks, still images into place that are never still, only stilled. Novalis, revisité. Qui n'aime pas cette lumière Première ligne rhétorique du premier chant à son contraire. La nuit, vague visage, sous, levé, face lifting. Maintenant, levé en grise grisaille d'un jour couvert sur Albany, New York, Ici, nous vivons intérieur du temps, jour ou nuit, voler, clic et fixe les images en place qui ne sont jamais fixes, seulement fixées. So that was from Algibar, the latest out, for which there will be another reading at the uh, Marché de la Poésie, for some reason at the Romanian Cultural Center. <laughs> But I'll read anywhere at the drop of a hat. So. Uh, a couple very late, uh, later sections from uh, the, the things we worked on with Habib. Uh, this, I think you haven't even heard yet, so there are two of those. Uh, it's a book called The uh, Forty Stations of uh, Mansur al Halaj, and they're based on Uh, the, the name in Arabic and in English found of the stations, uh, <coughs> the Maukif of the great 10th century Arab mystic and poet, or poet and mystic, Mansur al Halaj, killed in Baghdad for having said, Ana al Haq, I met. They didn't like that, neither the politicals nor the religious ones. 23, isolation, infirad. I'm infuriated by in isolation. Let me try again that. I'm infuriated by isolation, but it is the only eye there is under the sun. Its wheel rolls out of infrared, ultraviolet blue of sun's stroke, post isolation supposed to stand there on a corner of the desert, this life wants to make of us all unfinished by isolation. An eye in iso, elation, plays with itself, hands in pockets, it stands, not yet endangered species, an endangering isolato americano on the corner of any desert street between here and here, the pocket billiards of empire and isolation. Pierre, uh, he feel like he got more Arabic or Farsi than I do, but is it more I'm it that he said, or I'm the one? I'm the one, but I like to translate it as like, I'm it, baby. <laughs> yeah, but so Ana al Haq, I'm the one. It's, it's really an important. It's so close to Jesus' remark. I know. Is that why you go for it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> 24. Captivity in Kiyad. Does it come before or after nativity? Is it the artist or the audience? The ox or the manger? Is that Jackson I hear saying Schwitters? That was real applause, not just captive applesauce. <laughs> And don't you come with that inequity stuff? We do what we do. Peculiar, fast and witty. Kashmir would be great to walk the yard in captivity. 
or the streets of any old captive city. You are on loan wherever you are. The museums have handed you back to the streets less menacé than he would have believed. This is not a charade, though not a captivity story either. Capacitors are useful, even if the jar is back home in Leiden, held captive between two plates that conduct themselves badly and have to be separated by mica, oil, paper, and tantalum, a rare, hard, blue-gray, lustrous transition metal. Though held captive, it has also been described as dark, dense, ductile, very hard, easily fabricated, and highly conductive. It is not named after the man Tantalus, who was from all over the place, if you read the ancients, until he was set down in captivity in the deepest layers of Tartarus, for ripping some food and wine off his father's table. Bad table manners will always get you into a desert one way or the other. Sacrificing a son won't necessarily let you off the hook either. Leave that to the shamans. They are buddy-buddy with mystic death and transfiguration. And know that you can't steal a dog. They just keep after you, wanted or not. Stay in the desert. There's no fruit tree, no pool of water, no low branches to tempt you. A in poem with a drunken swan keeps coming up in your dream like a forewarning or a rapt image of paradise. Let it go. And uh, then I want to do um, some poems from a series called An Alif Ba, uh, which are based on the letters of the Arabic alphabet. Uh, so the meditations on, on, on the letters. Uh, how complex that is and how undecided the Arab alphabet is uh, is told in this little tale that is um, a sort of preamble to the first poem which is the Aleph poem of course Aleph being the first letter and that says Adam is said to have written a number of books three centuries before his death after the flood each people discovered the book that was destined for it. The legend describes a dialogue between the Prophet Muhammad and one of his followers who asked, by what sign is a prophet distinguished? By a revealed book, replied the Prophet. O Prophet, what book was revealed to Adam? A, B, and the Prophet recited the alphabet. How many letters? 29 letters. But, O oh Prophet, you have counted only 28. Muhammad grew angry and his eyes became red. O oh Prophet, does this number include the letter Aleph and the letter Lam? Lam Alif is a single letter. He who shall not believe in the number of 29 letters shall be cast into hell for all eternity. The alphabet is very serious business. <laughs> One, an Aleph has many seats under which he is silent, though you cannot call it suffering. Suffering rhymes with zero, at least initially. A sweet, round perfection, as we like to draw it, doodling one into the other. Newspaper margins of the black and white middle 50s at Madame Cavallotti's, where I wrote or learned to daily at 5 p.m., whose husband told me that in the last war, which wasn't the last one at all, he had been forced to drink his piss from his boot in the deserts of Libya, his wife linking zeros, rounds in the margins of the daily book, <laughs> making, making writing, a chain of nothingness that is something, and that is our fate und Fluch, that we have to do something, even to achieve the nothing, even if only we doodle ourselves through life while talking on the phone to someone doodling elsewhere, while all we mumble are sweet nothings, chains of linked zeros. Yet, step back and focus shifts. A shape emerges, 
from the space created by the two circles intersections, mandorla, wherein stands the shape of Ceylon's eye of the fruit of the almond tree. There stood, maybe, the names of the six kings of Madian make up the letters of the Arabic alphabet. The nothing, where does it stand? It stands outside the almond. It stands in the shelves of the suffering, the zero crescents above and below. Human curl, you'll not turn gray. Empty almond, royal blue. Fall away as the almond looms, yet remain as links of a chain, isthmus claws. Saw mandola to mandola, so mandola to mandola. To what a place that must be, a something at least to be in, and if that nothingness with the Hamza, a sort of zag without a zig, a future breath half taken now, with always something more solid, important, coming right behind it, a kind of fishing hook, which puts an odd occasion on this table. A fishing hook equals a future breath. Here lie the roots of another surrealism yet to come, when we find the zig goes with the orphan zag. Um, the second one of that is uh, Ba, B, a homophone of house. Where there is a fishing hook, there is bait. As big as a house we can all live in, the fish swim through it. This is needed now, for the sun is going down. Maybe it was scarred by the cannon shot just here, or maybe the cannon shot was to announce the setting of the sun. It is strange how cause and effect can exchange places. As if this all was an old, old dance we are in, where without reason we have to change partners. I don't know. And don't trust those who say they do. And yet I'm sure of something. Both cannon sound and sunset tell the same tale. The people can break their fast, go into their houses and find something to eat. And should the larder be empty, we can always eat the bait. Hmm. Okay, I'll cut the bait and run and do one more poem and close on the next poem. It's uh, the poem for the letter Noon, an Arabic uh, in French, N, in German, N, in English, N, in Arabic, Noon. A poem in Noon. Noon already, yet dew persists in a letter, framer of enlightenment, a vocalization of Arabic and a discussion. No, an excerpt from a letter, the other kind, or is it? In which Chita, again to open her name, meditates on that most redolently, redundantly of poetic objects, a dew drop, rosé, dew, nada, where our R, French, rolls and roils into the dark of a round wonder, a drop in a bucket to re-emerge, hissing wet, somewhat sheepish, but not in so difficult to pronounce for Northern Claritas. Rosé, rosé, you want to go on. Mad brelt, she braying. Rosé, rosas, rosarum. And elsewhere we'll have gobbled the drop by noon. Whereas you dances on that soft initial D, even if one suspect a long gone missing Hamza, that moment of separation of drop and ether, air, the caught breath of transformation air into water, a condensation, a poem in itself. We live on such false etymologies, on the real joy of sounding. It brings on what unravels in a word, lip formed, throat instructed, scraping on not the roof of its tent, 
and way back of it, too high up to get that close, or simply get it. The brain amazed that shaped air makes sense in difference. Shut your brain port, as if, as if. For a moment, open your mouth. Be wet, sweet breath, be dew. Be dew, be the Bedouin, letter be noon, be noon dew, between lips, be silk between, be between the letter and the brain, the letter and the letter, be the Hamza, both cuts and links, be Barzak, be peninsula, be isthmus, be the moment between breath, breeze, write the breath, write the separation between letter and letter, the air bridge, be there. And listen, rosé, dew, a dew rose, triangulation with soft, sweet nada. Hop over the bend of the in, over the bent back of the initial, both hands gently on that back to gain air, becomes the slight explosion of D into that most initial and red of vowels, Anika, all healer, end of nada, but a air. The alphabet was wrong. The noon in Arabic shaped mirror reversal over the horizon. In its language, the letter, a little trough, a gentle curved cup. And the dew, the drop, maybe is, but the four hangs over it thus. Merci.